I'm reading what every programmer needs to know about memory, so you don't have to, part one. All the tech savvy folks out there have definitely tried to build their own PC. Now when you go to buy that PC, the first thing you're probably going to look at is what tech is inside of it. You know, a CPU, the GPU, the hard drive, is it an SSD, you know, solid disk. But last but not least, you know, RAM. Is it 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes? You know, how much RAM do we need? Point being, it's a bunch of different parts that come together. And so, at a high level, this is what we're going to be dealing with. We're going to be looking at the CPU and how it communicates to memory, as well as those I.O. devices. The main motivation for this paper was to talk about bottlenecks. You know, if we make CPU super quick, if we make GPU super quick, what about memory? We need to make sure that the memory is keeping up to pace with current technology, or else, what's the point of having a quick computer? Like and subscribe to catch the next video.